YouTube, what's going on, guys? Courage here, bringing you another video here today. And this one is uh, not a video I ever wanted to make or uh, expected to make, but it's necessary. I want to announce that I'm taking a break from Warzone. Uh, it might not come surprised for a lot of you guys, but it's time for a break from Warzone. And I'm going to talk about it a bit here. Swap is going to edit in some clips and some certain things of, of why, but I just want to talk to you guys and for you guys to under, understand my perspective. So, before I get into anything, um, this is a decision I don't take lightly, but I think it's necessary for me personally and for where I'm currently at as a content creator. Warzone is a game that I've loved since the first day, since Tim and I won our first ever game together and for over a year now, and it's become a huge part of my content in my life. But with that being said, uh, I can say with full confidence that as of right now, I'm just not having fun on the game. And I'm gonna go into a bit of what I mean by that and why, but I, I wanna make something abundantly clear. I do still love Warzone as, uh, uh, for what it is as a game. It, it is so fast paced. It is so enjoyable from a gunplay standpoint and from just being a Call of Duty fan for the last 16 years. Hey guys, what's going on? Courage here. It's still, to this day, one of my top three favorite franchises. Give him a hundred hours! Give him a hundred hours, baby! Uh, but currently, right now, when I look at all the games that are out there, and when we're in this lull point until the release of Battlefield 2042, Halo Infinite, and more, I just can't do it right now. And this decision makes me, you know, lose money. My viewership uh, isn't quite what it is on other games. But I'm accepting that. I'm accepting that for my mental sake and for the quality of my streams. I just can't play Warzone right now and force myself to play a game that I just am so bored on. Uh, I want to apologize to those of you who are huge Warzone fans and say this isn't the end of my time on Warzone. It's just we're going to play other games with Tim, Nick, and Cloak and, and other great streamers. Maybe Apex, maybe some Fortnite, and, and other games that I just want to play. I've been loving Apex Legends. <laughs> what would get me back on Warzone from the start is... The game just needs a functioning streamer mode. It needs the ability to block out other players' names, make sure they can't see my name, and to make it so that we don't get hunted. If an enemy picks up a bounty, I want to make sure they don't, they just see, oh, it's just a player 24867 and not Nick Merckx or Tim the Tapman or Courage and just hunt us down immediately on the map. When looking at Warzone, it's now been out since what, March of 2020? I believe March. We are now in, as of recording this, it's July 27th, 2021, over a year and close to a year and a half since the release of the game. And, and let's be honest here, we've seen so many iconic Call of Duty maps across time. I would just love to see a fully new map and maybe that's on the horizon, but I just think currently it's going a bit too slowly for what I'd expect from Call of Duty. When I look at Apex Legends, for example, they've had what, World's Edge, Olympus, Kings Canyon, all of those maps have been updated in their own right. They cycle out every single hour. There's it just they feel fresh when they get added back into the into the, the map pool and they all play so drastically different. It's it's really exciting from a player standpoint to have those different options and to have those large map updates that come through. I trolled and joked about it, but you know, while I do love Call of Duty so much, it is disappointing for me as a player that for the map, other than the reskin we've had and those certain changes that have happened there, in the first full year of the game, we got an underground train, an above ground train, and a ship that crashed into the map. And after Kabiri do something to the other updates, I've got to the conclusion that this update it's fucking horrible! And that's it. Even like the satellites, which were really cool, were just taken out in like a week. So there's been no real substantial changes from a map standpoint, other than, you know, when we had the reskin to, to the Cold War. And, and when I mentioned the satellites, those were fun during that bit of time. It was something cool to go for and get and, and change the way the game was played. The armor trucks were in the game for like a day. Like the armor trucks were cool. It was fun to try them. They could have been balanced more, sure, but they were just kind of taken out and never added back in. From a player standpoint, it's exciting to have those new options and new ways of playing the game and, and to laugh about it. When you look at the likes of Fortnite with all the things that are added, they have the weirdest, most wacky things, but it's just fun to use. Like I was having a blast playing with the new a uh, cow item that let you just bounce around the map as a freaking cow. Hi. <laughs> or how there's always a new gun being added. The Gravitron or whatever just got added right now. Or the ability to build in the sky with that new sky cube. I know Fortnite's a bit more out there of a game, but just the idea that even during the season, the updates are more than just reloaded and some playlist switches. It's like actual quality stuff. And I know Raven's been doing a way, way, way better job with balancing of the weapons and the fact that, you know, certain Cold War snipers got buffed and 
they've retweaked the modern warfare guns i think they've done a phenomenal job with balancing recently and the fact that you can use all sorts of different things they've been doing a really good job of spearheading and and going after those certain weapons but at the same time i, I kind of find it crazy that from a progression standpoint there's really nothing to play for every season your rank gets reset there's no rewarding new end of season skin or no ranked play like when you look at apex legends or even fortnite's arena you know how much fun it is in apex legends to push for something like diamond or predator or masters you guys have been loving the streams where i go and try my best to reach masters and i have that crazy goal of being predator one day and i know people out there love that at the end of the season they get you know something added to their badge they get a certain thing for gold they get a certain thing for platinum and the trails you get in the game it's just really cool and shows it's something that you can show off right now there's there's nothing to show off in warzone every season again your rank gets reset it's it's it, it, there's no more demoralizing thing than getting set back to 55 like we used to see and i find it crazy that there just hasn't been a bigger sit down yet and i'd love to help theorycraft and, and ideate on what there could be in warzone end of season skin how do we get more challenges in the game to go for more weapon skin options? How have we not had just a slew of more things and challenges added? You know, going back to the old red tiger camo with the headshots, those are all, they're all so cool to go for. And I know that there's certain things in the game, but you know, something that doesn't have to just be behind a peg wall. People will be willing to spend more on the game when they're having fun and really enjoying the game. It goes without saying that console needs some love from a for, from a war zone standpoint you have games like splitgate which is starting to blow up in popularity where they have the fov slider they have the certain things that console's missing compared to pc that i think you know really adds to the enjoyment of the game and puts them more in a level playing field especially when the game is so cross-platform uh, and cross progression it goes without saying the anti-cheat i think that's the biggest you know elephant in the room there is no worse feeling than playing a game and having your mood completely killed and destroyed because a cheater is in the lobby. Yeah. 63 kills! He Three. has 63! Then you amplify it to the fact that there's extremely strong skill-based matchmaking, so better players have a higher chance of being in cheater lobbies. And it gets amplified by the fact that there's streamers that are in the game and might be getting stream sniped by these cheaters. And then it's amplified by the fact that there's not a working streamer mode in the game. So there might be a cheater in the lobby and then they see the kill feed and they realize that there's a cheater in the game and then come after us we want to grind warzone it is the most successful for our business for ourselves and it is the most fun place for us to play together when games are going good but right now it just feels like from a from a playing standpoint the feeling i have is that i'm not getting the love back that i want from you know the game itself i have nothing to show for the level of lobbies i'm in you know it's not like i have a rank next to me that makes me want to grind and rank up right so i'm just playing in the hardest lobbies without having any to show for it or even even if it said i'm in the top 0.1 percent of lobbies or top rated it would make a huge difference for people that are watching our streams to understand why our lobbies are so sweaty and so intense it would push us to, to grind the game more and be more about it and there's some days where the cheating is just so bad that we're not facing just one to two cheaters we're facing five to ten and then that's not counting the ones we don't even know about we've had 10 cheaters today by the way 10 not trolling. Jesus Christ. When these guys get banned, how many times have you guys seen on our stream where we would mention certain players' names where this guy's on his fifth account, sixth account? TTV Timbo's back. So can't wait to yeah, that's him, man. Fuck. And so for now, you know, that's just uh, to touch on some of the things that I think need to be need to be updated. Apex has added their full-on arena mode, which I know a lot of streamers have been loving. That's now going to be ranked arenas this next season with its own in-game currency and a completely new feeling to it. Fortnite has obviously creative and all these other modes that you can hop on into and play infinite amounts of options. And for Warzone, we have like buyback solos. And sure, we have, uh, we have Rebirth, but at the end of the day, Rebirth was already just a remake of the other map we had too. Everyone that plays Warzone has played Call of Duty for years and loves the Call of Duty franchise. But right now, I think a lot of people just feel the sentiment. Of, they don't feel loved back. To be honest, I might go play a different game soon, Loki. Really? Yeah, it's like Is that, that bad. bad? And I have a great relationship with everyone who makes the game and plays the game, and I want to play more Warzone. I want to help make Warzone better. But as of right now, it's just moving too slow. And the changes that are being made aren't significant enough and they're not keeping me interested in the game so you know if you if you're watching this video right now my my time in warzone isn't over uh, i'm gonna be playing a lot of apex legends the new season's coming out i'm gonna be grinding that game uh nick and tim are actually playing as we speak and and, and having a good time so uh he's one shot uh that that's one thing i want to do i want to try and play more split gate which has been really blowing up it's halo with portals which looks great halo infinite's on the horizon battlefield 2042 is on the horizon and because i've been playing more of what i want to play yes my viewership is down on a, a and as I mentioned, I'm making less money, but I've streamed 85 hours in 10 days or 12 days, whatever it is. That's 
you know, last month or a month ago when I was only playing Warzone, I did 75 hours in an entire month, let alone two weeks because I was just miserable. And, and I'm sorry that I was putting myself through that to just try to play what I thought would have the most viewers. So th there, there's a lot I could talk about. I would love to do a podcast too with like Tim, Nick and Cloak and just talk about this stuff because I know they don't want to get off that game either. It's, it's wildly lucrative for them to stay on the game. And, and it's just the point where it's so not fun that I'm ready. I'm ready to move on for now. And, and will I come back to Warzone at some point? Absolutely. I'm sure. But as of right now, if you guys want to still show me support, it would mean the world when I'm playing these other games. And I want you guys to let me know what you want to see. Comment down below. This week alone, we've played It Takes Two with Marcel, New World, Apex Legends, Fortnite, Poker with a bunch of people, Midgard, the uh, Tribes of Midgard, which was awesome. You know, for a sponsor stream, which we, I wound up playing an hour past my sponsorship because I was having so much fun on the game. If you guys want to see more of me streaming, this is how I stream more. This is how I put out more great content for you guys. And also, it inspired me to do other things off camera too because I felt a little bit deflated and a little bit burnt out. So this is about a 12 minute video of me just talking. I hope you guys, you know, enjoyed this video and understand my perspective. Uh, I want to be the best version of myself. And I think that this is the best thing for me right now. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Be sure to leave a like on this video if you guys are excited for the future of our content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, peace. Have you tried Mountain Dew Game Fuel yet? If you have not, then the best place to go order for first timers or regulars like myself is gamefuel.com there you could sign up for the victory pass where you unlock rewards for just purchasing game fuel as you guys know there's so many incredible flavors so head on over and make sure to use code courage at gamefuel.com today